Hey witches, what's up? Uh, this is Sean in my free or cheap tools for beginner witches series and I am just going to dive right in with wands. This is one of my wands. Uh, I made it a couple weeks ago just out of a rock that I, I mean, I'm sorry, rock. I'm a little tired. Out of a stick that I found outside in my yard and just some stuff that I had lying around. But if you don't have a stick lying around that you can and stuff to put on it, you can use just any stick. That will work. Might not be the prettiest. I like it, but not as a wand but it would work. Uh, you can use your finger. This is a big one. Lots of witches use fingers. The finger, if they feel like it. Which brings me to another thing. Different fingers have different correspondences. A lot of more modern witches use the middle finger as a way to fling curses. Now, that is a whole new ethical issue, but the option is there. The finger already means F you. So it makes sense that you could use it to fling a curse. Another option, if you are an artistic type, if you're an author or a drawer, you can use a pen or a pencil. If you are a painter, you can use a paintbrush. You can use a feather. Literally anything wand shaped will work. Another thing, athames. I used, I have used kitchen knives, pocket knives. For three years, I used a, an old bone handled hunting knife. You don't necessarily have to buy one. And in, in many cases, understand that you don't actually need one. So, a letter opener would work for that. Literally, any knife shaped or functioning knife would work. Chalices. Go to a thrift shop. They usually have wine glasses for like 50 cents. Sometimes they have sets of wine glasses for 50 cents. Go to dollar stores. They have them for a dollar. Doesn't have to be pretty. Doesn't have to be perfect. In fact, you can decorate it with stones if you so, if you so choose later on to make it more, I guess, witchy but it works. In fact, I don't always use a chalice. This is a, is a reused um, candle holder and it can be used as a water uh, receptacle or chalice. Another thing is burn bowls. I use this iron cast iron vase of my mother's. It is very heavy. And she, my aunt gave me that because my mom had given it to her. My aunt gave it to me when my mom died so that I would have something. And I use it for sage or other herbs that I'm burning. I also use this sensor, which I guess like Catholics use them or something. I'm not sure who uses them, but it's not just us. You can get these at like religious stores think I got it at a, at a used furniture place which is weird but what happened you? you can use any sort of ceramics you can use a I'm sorry terracotta uh, if you have just terracotta lying around you can use a plate it doesn't necessarily have to be a bowl I use this for my Palo Santo I mean there's all sorts of stuff you can use any sort of fireproof pottery will do. Glass will do. Um, incense burner. Now, the regular, just long incense burners that have the thing that you stick it up, those are, I think, $1.50 at my local occult shop. $3 at my other one. But I have made a oh, mother trucker. It's burning and it burned me. 
Fire safety, y'all. This is just a jar filled with marbles. And I think the marbles are just a couple dollars at the dollar store. And you have jars in your kitchen. You got a jelly jar, a peanut butter jar, a honey jar. You got some kind of jar. Spaghetti, I guess. I, I had this in spaghetti, a spaghetti jar until I got this one. And this one's just more compact, so I transferred it. You have that. You can use jars and sand. Um, sand on a little plate is good for the cones. Any number of things. Uh, let's see. Mason jars. Great for herbs. I use them for herbs, salts, waters, anything like that. You can use them in spells, storage, any any number of things. I use them in making spells, you know, adding ingredients, mixing ingredients, good for shaking, if you need to shake your ingredients together, all sorts of things. In fact, a number of my upcoming arts, art, artsy slash uh, crafty witchy videos coming up are going to have jars in them. In fact, I think all of the ones I have planned so far, like, have thought through and know when I'm going to do them, have jars in them. And so that is a really good thing. Candles. Candles, candles, candles. Uh, prayer candles or religious candles, you can find them at most grocery stores, uh, dollar stores, anything like that. They're just $1.50. They are often known, also known as seven day candles. And that is not uh, strictly seven day candles because sometimes they don't last a full six, seven days, or sometimes they last more. But they do last, I think I had one, the first time I burned one, it lasted five days. Um, and I just burned it all the way through. You can get them in any color. They have different saints. Some of them have, like, uh, I did have one on my ancestor altar that had a, that was white and had a black outline of a grim reaper or the saint of death, I guess. I don't know how they pronounce that. Um, and that was really cool for ancestor or, or spirit work related things. That sort of stuff is really good. On Amazon, they have a $22 pack of 200 tea lights, which are that size, which uh, I'm going to be getting very soon because I use them a lot. I'm not sure what else I was going to talk about in this video. But, I think that's it. I guess in closing, I'm going to talk about some of the things I have upcoming. I am working on a video to, that's not in my beginner series. My first arts and crafts video. It is going to be Sacred Salts. And is a personalized, I guess, blend of salts not strictly salts there's going to be some a little bit of herbs and some crystals and various things that just things that are basically teaching you how to make your own i will be making one that's personal to me but you all will have the opportunity to make one that's uh, more personalized to you and i will walk you all through that it'll be just a short probably less than 10 minute video um and i have i think i have most of the stuff for it uh another thing that i have got upcoming is I have come up with, and I don't know if anyone else has ever done it, uh, I will say that I did not get this idea directly from anyone else. I was watching a science video, because I like watch, watching YouTubers do stupid science-y stuff that could get themselves hurt. I was watching this scientist do a, an experiment with the blackest paint on Earth, and I think it's called Black 2.0 or 4.0 one of the two anyway and this thing is so black it you can paint a sphere like a ping pong ball with it and it will completely eliminate the the visual of it being spherical it will look like a flat void like a black hole uh, you can shine light on it whatever and it will not basically affect it much at all and so I was thinking a banishment jar to banish things sort of to the void. 
and I was gonna I'm gonna go walk you through that just a, an idea that I had I don't know I don't know if y'all want to know but I'm gonna make a video about it so y'all can see how y'all like it I also have some uh, various I have sage spray coming uh, and that would that's gonna be really cool and so just make sure that y'all subscribe down below and click the like button please if you like this video also click the little notification ring -a ding ding thingy if you want all my videos I have been thinking about also starting a channel of just my personal life like when I'm having a bad day so I can get on and bitch about it but I probably I probably won't unless y'all just want me to uh, I just like the thought of being able to bitch at somebody. Um, so yeah, I think I don't know. I think next week's gonna be like a witching on a budget. So stay tuned for more. Thank y'all. Bye.